Hi, Psych2Goers. Is there someone you think has a crush on you? Knowing that someone is attracted to you can make you feel happy and good about yourself. And naturally, you'll want that attraction to last as long as possible. But sometimes you might get carried away and not realize that you're making mistakes that are diminishing the attraction they have for you. So to help you become more aware of some of your behaviors, here are five mistakes that kill attraction. Number one, insecurity. Are you a confident person or are you very insecure about yourself? While it's normal to doubt yourself from time to time, the attraction that someone feels towards you might start to disappear when you let your insecurities take over you. This may include constant negative comments about yourself, such as, I'm too stupid to understand this. Are you sure I look good? Or, I don't think I'm good enough. While others may help you at first, this constant self-doubt and need for reassurance could get exhausting for them, especially when they're trying to make you believe in something you don't see in yourself. Even though it's hard to control how you feel about yourself, it's still important to try to work on building a positive self-image and to avoid relying solely on one person to validate your self-worth. When you do, you may start to notice others respond positively to your new energy. Number two, jealousy and possessive behavior. Do you get jealous easily? Whether it's always calling your partner to see who they hang out with, going through their phone, or stopping them from going out with their friends or family so they could spend time with you, these are all types of behavior that may frustrate your partner and make them feel like you don't respect them at all. They may also feel suffocated by the intensity of your lack of trust and decide to take a step back. If you find yourself dealing with this a lot, you may wanna work on finding the core of your trust issues so you can understand and overcome that problem. Number three, being overly critical. Are you always criticizing them for doing the dishes wrong or complaining that they don't dress well? Oftentimes it can be useful to hear what you did wrong to know how to do better next time. As long as it's done respectfully and with good intentions, it's quite normal if you sometimes critique your partner's behavior. However, if you start to become overly critical about everything they do all the time, then you may lose the attraction that they have for you. Negative comments about how they're not doing things the right way or how they constantly make mistakes can make them feel unappreciated and cause them to only expect the worst from you. So if you try to keep things positive and emphasize the good things instead of the bad, you could keep the spark between you going long. Number four, spending too much time with technology. Is it hard to not check your phone? Perhaps you say that you'll just take a quick look but find yourself still typing and scrolling 10 minutes later. No matter how useful your phone is, it can often make you neglect the ones around you. Whether it's spending hours playing PlayStation or watching TV, when you spend too much time with technology while you're with someone, it tells them that you're uninterested and unavailable. They might feel ignored and bored in your company, and the attraction they felt towards you might start to fade away over time. So if you feel something like this could be happening to you, try to put your phone on silent when you spend time with your partner. Show them that they've got your full attention. And number five, negativity. What kind of aura or vibe do you put out? Your mood can definitely have an effect on how the people around you feel. If you're constantly negative, then those around you can feel it and recognize it too. And so if you're spending time with someone who likes you, surrounding them with negativity could quickly kill their attraction towards you. As Laurel Steinberg, PhD relationship therapist and professor of psychology at Columbia University said, being too negative in a relationship can have many damaging effects on both parties and on the relationship itself. Negativity makes other people feel depressed, is a total buzzkill, and can be a self-fulfilling prophecy. Negativity also reduces libido. It's clear you don't want this in your relationship, so be aware of the energy you put out. Have you done any of these? Let us know in the comments below. If you found this video helpful, be sure to like, subscribe, and share this video with those who might benefit from it. And don't forget to hit the notification bell icon to get notified whenever Psych2Go posts a new video. The references and studies used in this video are added in the description below. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.